Hi there guys and welcome back to Tom Voyage. So this video we're going to be looking at the gas attachments that are available for the Uni Carew series. So I have here the old version and the new version. So we're going to talk through some of the reasons that you might think about purchasing this gas attachment. We're going to check if the old gas attachment fits onto the new Carew 12G. And then we're going to finish off by doing a real-time pizza cook using gas. Let's go. So the reason that I wanted to make this video is with the recent release of the Unicaroo 12G, I've had a few comments in the comments section asking if the old version of the gas attachment will fit onto the new Carew 12G. So let's do that as a first test. So as you can see here, the new version looks roughly the same size as the old version. So this is how the new version of the gas attachment fits on the Carew 12G. You can see it sits nicely on there. You'd fasten up these bolts to secure it. Now the old version, looks a little bit wide. It still fits on, but it doesn't go down. So I can't now push that down to secure it onto these uh, slots here. So unfortunately, it looks like the old version of the gas attachment doesn't fit with the new Carew 12G. So unfortunately, if you have got this old version of the gas attachment and you wanted to upgrade to the new Carew 12G, you are gonna have to upgrade to get that new gas attachment as well. So next, let's talk about some of the benefits of using gas. Now I will just say, the clouds over there are looking really dark. I think we're on the brink of a thunderstorm here. So if it does start to pour down with rain or you can hear thunder in the background, I apologize. So the main reasons that I will use this gas attachment on my Unicaru 12G is firstly for ease of use. It's much easier to control the temperature using a knob on the back rather than trying to do it using the airflow or the amount of fuel that's in the oven if you were using wood or charcoal. Now the second reason I might use gas is to reduce the cleanup time. Using wood and charcoal you get kind of pops and crackles as the wood burns and this puts ash and things onto the pizza stone. Obviously using gas you don't get any of that so it makes the cleanup a lot easier. If you were using your pizza oven at a friend's house or taking it camping or something like that, using gas helps cool the oven down much quicker. Of course once you've finished cooking all you do is turn the gas off, open all the doors and the oven will cool down relatively fast. When you're using wood or charcoal you've got that basket of hot material in there that's still going to keep producing heat for up to a couple of hours until it'll start to cool down. Another reason why you might want to consider the gas attachment is if you host a lot of parties. Now when I'm entertaining guests what I want to be doing is talking to my guests, having a drink and having a mingle. I don't want to be constantly worrying about the oven, putting extra logs on, poking the fire, making sure it's hot enough. I like having that peace of mind of being able to turn the oven on, heat it up and I know it's going to have that consistent temperature ready to cook pizzas when I need to. So that's some of the benefits you might want to consider if you were thinking about buying this gas attachment. So let's put it onto the oven now, get it secured, get the oven heated up and cook a pizza in real time. So once you've removed the cover off the Unicaru 12, the gas attachment simply slots in and gets held down by a couple of these screws, which you just need to tighten up. You then attach the other end to a propane tank. I use the 13 kilogram propane tanks, which I find work well. And then that's it, you're all set up ready to cook. You may also notice that you get one of these in the box with your gas attachment. Now there's a bit of a running joke online where people put a picture of this on and ask what it is um, and people give comical answers but the real reason is if your clicker on the gas attachment isn't working you can stick a match in here and you can safely access the gas outlet there to light it from a safe distance. So it's probably something that you're not going to use very often, but if ever your gas attachment stops working, it's handy to have, so keep it somewhere safe. So our oven is now lit and heating up using the gas, so it's important to remember that the chimney still has to be on and the door has to be closed. Now Uni recommends leaving it about 15 minutes to heat up. I personally find it takes about 20 to 25 minutes to heat up, but we've got our gas on full power, everything's set up ready to go, so we'll leave it and check back in 20 minutes. So 
So it's now been around 15 minutes and true to what Uni said, the oven is at a decent temperature to cook a pizza. But just to double check, I'm gonna use this digital thermometer and check the stone temperature. So you can see the stone temperature there is at 431, that's degrees centigrade. So it's definitely hot enough to cook a pizza. So let's go inside, prepare the pizza and get it on the oven. By the way, if you like the look of this table, it was from a company called Zest Outdoor Living. They're on offer at the minute for 25% off using the discount code TOM25. If you want more information, I'll put links in the description below. So I think it's quite clear that using gas, the Uni Karoo 12G heats up faster. So we've got our pepperoni pizza here ready. So let's get it on the oven and see how it cooks. So one thing that I like to do when cooking on gas is as soon as I launch the pizza, just turn the flames down a little bit. I feel like that helps balance the cook on the top of the pizza and the bottom of the pizza too. I'll also be using one of these pizza peels to turn the pizza in the oven. Now one of the things that I really enjoy about the Karoo 12G is having this glass front. It makes it very, very easy to check how your pizza's cooking without having to open the door and lose all the heat. So we'll give it a quick turn there. You can see we're getting some nice colour on one side of the pizza. Might just turn it up again slightly, just to help us. We're getting some nice bubbles on the top. I'll also leave a timer in the corner so you can check on how many seconds this pizza takes to cook. Now obviously we want to cook this pizza fast today, but if you did want to do a pan style pizza that makes takes maybe five or eight minutes to cook, that's also good using the gas attachment because you can turn the heat really low and have a lower cooking temperature. If you're interested, I'll leave my dough recipe in the description below. You can check that out and try making this dough for yourself. It's a nice, easy pizza dough, very easy to make, especially for beginners. So we're getting a nice bake on there. I think that'll be almost done. So we'll get our large peel. And take that out. Wow, look at this. That is bubbling. All the cheese, smells amazing. We've got a nice bake on the crust there, so that was probably in longer than 90 seconds, maybe more around the two minute mark. But it's resulted in a nice, lovely bake on the crust, nice and crunchy. And I'll attempt to show you the base here, um, but because of the amount of oil on this, it's probably going to spill everywhere. So hopefully you can see that there. If not, I'll do a close up afterwards. So that was a pepperoni pizza cooked on the Unicaroo 12G in real time. Now I hope you found this video useful. If you did find it useful, please give me a like and subscribe. If you've got any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comments section below. And of course, if you wanted to pick one of these ovens up for yourself or the gas attachment, I'll leave those links in the description too. It doesn't cost any more money, but it helps me out with a bit of commission so we can carry on making these kinds of videos. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time for more pizza making videos.